to talk to you guys about microbiology lecture and this was microbiology lab was a lot easier for me because it was all hands-on but lecture was a lot harder to retain the information and remember everything that I needed to because there is so much information that we had to learn in such a short amount of time because we took it over the summer however it was really interesting because I actually got a better grade in lecture than in lab. They were very close, but it was definitely better. So um, I'm going to tell you some good study tips that helped me get the grade that I got. And hopefully they help you get the grades you want and need. We had this book, which is Foundations in Microbiology, 8th edition by Kathleen Park, Tolaro, and Barry Chess. I know that they're going, at least for my school, they're going towards the, or they're moving towards the ninth book, so if you're in my school, don't, don't buy this one, buy the ninth book. Our professor, he loved the book, and so we had to learn all the figures, we had to read, you know, or you were not gonna do, you weren't gonna be successful in his class. So what I would do is, I would read every single chapter that we had to read and I would take the time to write thorough notes. It took me about four to six hours for each chapter um, to write my notes down, but even though that seems like it's a lot, it, it really was a lot, so I was always in the library, but it was good in the long run. I had four notebooks and I went through these. Before he gave out the lecture notes, I went through these like one I just would get through one every single week. That's how much I was writing. But what was helpful was before he gave us these notes, so this was for the first test, he didn't give us the notes and so we would have to take our own notes during class and it was a lot easier to take notes once I already had an outline and I already took notes on that chapter that we were going to talk about that day. So what I decided to do is after the first test he decided to give us the lecture notes that he would present in class. So what I would do is, for example, this one. I would just write, you know, lecture notes. Usually my handwriting isn't too good when I'm just furiously trying to jot something down. So what I would do is I would take these notes and I would print another copy so then I could rewrite the notes and I would be able to go back to the notes that I rewrote and I could actually read my handwriting. It was actually legible. And it forced me to look at the material again. So I'm always being exposed to the material that we are going to be tested on later on. So that was very helpful. For the second test, we mainly focused on bacteria and so there were a few organisms that he wanted us to remember. So he gave us a small template of a chart that he wanted us to fill out for our benefits. And so I added just a few extra but I did fill it out and it was really helpful because it you know talked about key points I wrote all over it. It looks like a unicorn threw up on my pages. <laughs> but, you know, this helped me out because if I needed to quickly see something like, oh, what is Streptococcus pyogenes? Then I was like, oh, this is how it looks. And these are, like, this is a morphology, the diagnosis, tissue affected, antibiotics susceptible and resistant. I also would get my notes for every chapter and I would write little key points that I needed to know. And that was, that helped me out in the long run as well. So I could just flip back to what I needed to learn. This is a really good book, and I know I didn't use it the whole entire class, but it was great for when I needed to learn specific organisms. It's called Clinical Microbiology Made Ridiculously Simple. And this is the third edition. I got this from Half Price Books, my local Half Price Bookstore. And um, I know I'm going to use it a lot more in pathology, but 
It was really helpful, especially in the second and third test when we had to learn, for example, Staphylococcus aureus. This one was very cute. Um, they, what these doctors decided to do was they decided to write this helpful book and try to incorporate pictures that, you know, would help you memorize the material that you needed to know. So, for example, for Staph aureus, if I can find it, oh, yes, they have, they were like, oh, you know, this is a picture of the hospital staff, and they're wearing gold, yeah, they're wearing gold medals because, you know, Staph aureus, aureus is gold, and they're all in a cluster, so Staphylococcus, that is grape like cluster, and there's two cats that walked into the photo because it's catalase positive. So I thought that was really cute, and it, when I was taking the test, I would remember these small little pictures that I saw while reading this book, and there's some really funny, interesting photos. It's more adult humor. So I highly recommend this book. It's helpful. I mean, another example is the rhinovirus with while he's ho holding a corona and then NyQuil. Um, it says, Rhino with the common cold, drinking a corona beer. This will help you remember that the rhinovirus and the corona uh, viridae both cause the common, or yeah, both cause the common cold. So that was really cool. Make your reviews for each test. Like, start working on it once you get the material for each class because in the end, you don't want to just try to, you know, put together a review in the last minute. You want time to actually look over your notes and see what you need to study. Well, I hope these tips helped you out. And if you guys have any suggestions for any new videos that you want to see, just comment below. Thank you, and I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm going to go sleep or eat before I have to go to my next training session.